Hello my friends and thank you for joining me here today as we gather again to pray. Today is Wednesday the 25th of September. It is week 25 in ordinary time. You know friends, often when we switch on the news or go on our social media, all we hear is these tragic stories these stories of murder, these stories of war, these stories of famine, these stories of earthquakes and floods and such, such tragedies that it can sometimes just weigh so heavy upon us and we can fall into that negative thinking of where is God? Where is God? And at some point in everybody's life, they're most likely going to ask that question. They're going to have that moment of doubt. They're going to lose hope. And they're going to say, where is my God? Sometimes we can look at our own lives and the sorrows we have and the struggles we have and we can say, where is God? And it can be a hard, hard battle. And I just want to encourage you, my friends, not to fall into that trap of that way of thinking. Because God is all around us. He's in every person we see on the street He's in every opportunity. And we're not perfect people. If you think you're a perfect person, then you've missed the point. <laughs> you've missed the point. Because if you fall into that way of thinking you're perfect, then there's no growth, there's no journey. So today I just want us to take a moment and sort of cast away all these negative things that we read in social media that we hear on the news that can become so overwhelming and I want us to just think of one thing today think of just one thing that you're grateful to God for and as we pray this Divine Mercy Chaplet today, I want us to keep our minds focused on this one thing and give glory to God for that one thing because he loves you, my friends. He loves you way beyond any, any measure you can understand. And sometimes it can be hard to feel that love or even to know what it looks like. But he does love you. And I want you to hold on to that truth. That God loves you. And he wants the best for you. And he's going to journey every difficult step of the way we take in this life. Let us pray my friends. Today we're going to offer up the Divine Mercy Chaplet. For all those that are struggling today, struggling to find hope, struggling to fix their eyes upon God's mercy, we're going to offer it up for them today. We're going to offer it up for all those that struggle with pain and suffering and sorrow in their life. We're offering it up for them today and we're offering it up for peace in this world. In the name of the Father, name of the Son, name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, please have mercy upon us and heal us. Help us to see the areas of our life that are in grave need of your mercy. And as we see them, help us to fix our eyes upon your sacred heart, from which mercy and grace flow. In this gaze, may we discover your unending compassion and love, and so to be healed from all that burdens us so dear. Jesus, we trust in you. 
You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and an ocean of mercy opened up to the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, we trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, we trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, we trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. We believe in God the Father Almighty creator of the heavens and the earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate. He was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in a mercy as endless and a treasury of compassion, inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we may not despair, nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. In the name of the Father, name of the Son, name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen, everybody. Amen. So, the takeaway from today is, do not let your hearts be discouraged, but with faithful prayer and devotion to our Lord, let us grow in love and always bring glory to him in everything we say, everything we think, and everything we feel. May God bless you. God bless your families. And as always, take care, my friends.